So I suppose I want to make a chest as quickly as possible. <laughs> you used expanded on your most recent perfection run. Oh, cool. So what did I get? 15, 15 parsnips. So is there any new NPCs that give you something better than... Uh, than a tea sapling, does anyone know? <laughs> right, so I've got 500 gold up there. You know what I'm gonna do? Is the expanded thing like a mod? It is. It adds a huge expansion onto the game. It adds extra maps onto the game. It adds new NPCs into the game. Um, it oh, it, it's it's absolutely, it's absolutely huge. It's it's gonna be uh, it's quite a challenge to get perfection on the expanded mod because if I go into, I'll just show you quickly. If I go into collections here and I go to fish, <laughs> look at the amount of fish. Look at the amount of new fish that it's that it's added to the game. It's absolutely huge. So we're gonna get the cauliflower. We're gonna get the bean. We are going to get what else do I need? A parsnip and what was the last thing? Was it? Oh, I think it was a, a potato. That's all I get anyway. I buy seven of those though because they're they're nice to sell, you know. Kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields for myself. And there's also a house down here, which is new. Let's raid it's. Uh, let's raid the trash can. <laughs> let's go into the house. Oh, this is a big house. Oh, look, there's a new NPC over here. Let's see. Do 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 do. Or oh, this Olivia. Oh my, aren't you a cutie? <laughs> welcome to the valley. It must be the beard. <laughs> Emma, hello. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Oh, here, who's this guy, Victor? Oh, hey there, you're the new owner of Expansive Farm. I'm Victor, it's a pleasure to meet you, Gamer Gar, is it? Yup, that's my name. Ooh, there we go. So there is my level 1 in foraging, which means I can make spring wild seeds now, so that's good. Um, so let's go over this way and see what the Expanded Mod has for us. So it has got a path. Okay, okay where am I now? Blue Moon Vine Vineyard. Oh look, there's no NPC. Who's this one? Sophia. Eek, a stranger. <laughs> but wait, aren't you getting regard to new farmer? S sorry, I get a little nervous around people I haven't met before. My name is Sophia. I'm the owner of Blue Moon Vineyard or Vineyard. Okay. Oh, cool. Look, she, she has a shipping bin. And she has uh, stuff grown on trellises. That's cool. So... Would you like a clam, maybe? You're sweet, thanks. Oh, she likes clams. Okay, that's good. I don't want to give her my daffodil because I kind of need those for the spring seeds, you know? She's not important enough for my daffodils. Only Caroline is important enough for Gamer Gar's daffodils. <laughs> so this... Oh my... This is another new area, is it? Oh, there's a leak. Take that. Oh, right, okay. This is the... The source is down there. So the, I think they just made this area larger. And this is Fairhaven Farm. Oh, who's this guy? Does he like clams? Let's give him a clam. Actually, I'll talk to him first. <laughs> Andy. Oh, cool. Would you look at that? It's the new farmer everyone has been talking about. Finally moved to the valley, I see. I've been working Fairhaven Farm here for many years. It ain't much, but it's honest work. She really likes fish that you need level 8 to catch. She sells sprinklers. Okay. And does Andy like clams? Thanks for the gift, farmer. No problem, Andy. I don't think wood's going to be an issue. Is that a pet? What's this way? Oh, cool. It's a, it's a new place. Oh, I can't pick up the mushroom. Okay. What'll I do? What'll I do? No, I'm going to, I'm going to go to the community center out to make the run more, um, to make the run more interesting. Am I going? Oh, I know it's in here now. Oh, I can pick up that. Oh, handy. Oh, what do I get rid of now? Get, do you know what? I'll just get rid of the clam. And uh, I'm going to pick up this. <laughs> Ooh, an ancient doll on day one. Nice one. Wait, we're not doing too bad, are we? <laughs> uh, what's that now? Aurora Vineyard. Okay, it seems like some of the... It seems like some of it's missing. 
Okay. Like we're there. Oh my god. Is that a forest sword? Oh, I have to get that. <laughs> Look at that! I am after getting a forest sword on day at number one. Oh, this is that, that's just uh, that's just beautiful. Oh my god, they're artifacts. That's the uh, that's the ancient sword, but uh, I have no room left in my inventory. I have to come back for those. Right, I need to use the hole. Right, I'm going to put the green bean right there so I don't forget about it. There's the cauliflower and we just have just have the potatoes. The, the potatoes. So it is Tuesday. Uh, oh yeah, it's the, oh, it's the fishing rod, isn't it? Yeah, 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 the fishing rod. So we've all seen that cutscene a million times. We know when he gives us the rod. But what we do now is, we're going to run over here. We're going to quickly look for bubbles. Any sort of bubbles. Nope, just going to fish here. So the difference between this and my regular 100 day runs are, if, if I felt like today wasn't great, I would, I would have restarted the day. But I'm not going to do that obviously, because, you know, we'd be there for, we'd be there for a month <laughs> trying to, uh, you know, sort sort things out. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it as the day has come. If I get a horrible day, you know what? I get a horrible day, we deal with it. So right now I'm all about farming levels, not so much about money, so let's just quickly run into Willy here. Sell him these fish and get the training rod. There you go. There's my there's my lovely training rod. So getting bubbles like this is just beautiful, you know? Okay. You know, I thought for a split sec that I was going to get the chest and the fish. I would have got quadruple XP, but the fish just kept going up. What is that? I just got... What? I, I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but I got something new. Because I need the space, and I didn't, ma I didn't make a chest. But Willy should hopefully take all this off me. 105... 40. You know what? I'm just going to give him the muscle for now. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll quickly run into Gunther, give him the dried starfish, and he'll give us some money as well. So I'm just going to skip that. Why is there two Gunthers? Ah, sure, look, it's, it is what it is. Maybe he has a twin. <laughs> yeah, now, now the PC I use, we actually made it from scratch. We bought all the parts online. We bought all the parts from, from Amazon, so you know we got the motherboard, the graphics card, the processor, the RAM, the hard drive. Ooh, what is that? Uh, a minnow. Ooh, that's it. How much is that worth? 20 gold. What'll I, what'll I do? Okay, I'll throw that away. I, oh no, wait a second now. I picked... Oh, I, I picked up the broken CD. Okay. Actually, I need money for the fiberglass rod. I need those fish. I need to sell those. But, I'm gonna get uh, 250 gold there off Gunther. <laughs> if you need cheap quality seeds, there's no better place in Georgia. There is. Pierre is actually cheaper than you. But, you do sell auto petters if we go to Georgia route, so, you know, Georgia Mart is, uh, is, is useful. And, you sell cheaper sunflowers. Right, I have 1,476, so that's 40 and 30, that's 70 and 70, uh, oh yeah, what is that? 40 and 30 is 70, that's 140, plus, see, I still don't have enough. See, this is the problem with the training rod, it's not great for getting money, I should have kept my, I should have kept my first rod and I could have used that, and I could have got, like, more advanced fish. 
That would be alright though. I mean, this won't be the only rainy day in spring. We're obviously going to get more rainy days so I can get catfish some other time, you know? And I got level 3 fishing, so we're not doing too bad. You can have the bait. Right, we're going to go attempt some catfish. Now, I, I don't have the trout soup, but you know what? We'll, we'll give it a go anyway. And I'm doing horrendously bad with catfish today. <laughs> Ooh, that's an Iridium Qualities Mama Blast. We'll take that. What would throw away? I kind of want to keep that. I'll just try to do it over there. Oh, super lucky. What happened? Oh no, just as I clicked on the button, I passed out. So, what did we get today? Level 4 fishing today. Ooh, recycling machine. Okay. Ooh, I got a large amount of bass. Oh, nice one. 150 gold. Yeah. Ooh, I got bubbles there. Nice. Ooh, 50, 50 XP for that. My car my character is uh is wrecked though. I'd have to eat some chubs to restore some energy. Ooh, both, nice. Yes, I got level five so I can sell all these fish tomorrow. Nice a nice cup of tea. Now this is an iridium one, so what do I do? Um you know what I'm you know what I'm gonna do, right? I'm just gonna put all these in the chest. Make life, make life easy for myself. <laughs> now I'm going to pass out. I'm going to wake up on the farm. So, so uh, I'm going to put these ones. Ah, uh, that's that's much better. Oh, it's hot dogs. So we finally get our level five fishing, and we're going to go with fish worth twenty five percent more. Oh, who's Susan? My name is Susan. Lewis taught me you're a new farmer in town. I'm trapped on my farm in the mountains, so I can't say hi in person. Hopefully, the mess George made will be cleared out soon because I'm going I'm going a little stir crazy. Can't wait to meet to meet you and see how the farm is shaping up. Okay, so that's uh that's an NPC there called Susan. Now, I was billed one gold for passing out, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna set all the fish. First we have two breams, I'll sell those. So I'm keeping the chubs because they're really good for energy and they, 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 don't, they don't sell for the whole lot so actually I, I only have one chub. <laughs> but hey, farming level one, got us. So the boulder has been cleared, we are now going to enter the mines, let's see how fast we can get down through the mines today. There's also a lot of leaks here. And where's the mines? Where's the mines gone? Are they up here? Okay. Are these the mines? All oh, right. Okay. There's. A, I was, I was like, what's going on? The rusty sword is going straight into the bin because we have the lovely forest sword. <clears throat> okay. Let's tear down through the mines. Ooh, we get lovely leather leather booties. So uh what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat the chub, restore some of my energy. Pick back up the boots. There we go. Onwards we go. So the forest sword is making things really easy at the moment because I can kill enemies so quickly. It's actually much easier to uh, to get down the levels, you know. Just goes to show what a good weapon, uh, you know, at, at the start can do for you. Oh, 
But I got a staircase, I, I want people down to the bottom. <laughs> this, so we're just going to dump that sword because, you know, I, I have much better stuff. Okay, you know, if I can make it down to floor 30 today, I'll, I'll be fairly happy with that. Ooh, there's, oh, that... There, there's a lot of crates over there. I'm actually going to go for those, um... I'm actually going to go for those crates because there's an awful lot. So I need something worth picking up there. I suppose I could pick up the minerals and stuff, you know? Um, what should I get rid of? What should I get rid of? Okay, there we go. Okay, what are we on the oh the dark levels? So it is ten past ten. I don't. I, I'm not too sure if I get five levels in this. Uh, I won't. I'm, I'm just gonna head back to the farm. I don't think I get down five levels between now and you, you know one or one or two o'clock in the morning. You know. But I got 30 levels in one day, so it's nice, and, and yeah, having the glow ring makes it a lot easier. But I really want to investigate that whole area up there, because it's all new to me. The only problem is that it takes a little bit longer for me to get back to my to my farm. <laughs> so I need to take that into consideration the next time I decide to go down into the mines. Oh, you know, I honestly thought I'd get a bit more than that for the old fish, you know? Well, I suppose say that I didn't have any catfish, um, so 3,813 gold. Now, so what do we do? I'll put the axe back anyway, and we're gonna we're gonna bring that chest up to the mines along with the other mining materials. So I'll bring up the stone, the copper, the coal, and all this stuff. Will come as well. I think that's it. But one parsnip inside there because I need that one. I'm happy with that. So before we go up to the mines, we need to find Caroline. Hopefully uh, at 9 o'clock she'll kind of make herself known. Wait, who's that person? Where did that person come from? Oh, so that's just Lewis with the community centre cutscene. Hello, who are you? Martin! Oh cool, Martin! Hey there! You're that new owner of Expensive Farm. My manager held a meeting about you. <laughs> I work part-time at Georgia Mart. Oh cool! Martin works part-time at Georgia Mart. So, I got the backpack upgrade. Definitely. Oh, there's Caroline. She's in the kitchen. Ooh, level 34. Okay, I can surely get down to 10 levels today. And be done with this, uh... <laughs> be done with this level. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to reset the level because I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> where the ladder is in this level. Oh, that's better. <laughs> the game felt my pain and gave me a ladder straight away. Oh, I just make one cherry bomb. I need more coal. 
Okay, let's put it there. Ooh, fabulous. Wait. Oh crap, I pressed the wrong button there. You know, a cave carrot would be, uh, would be real nice. Uh, ooh, speak of the devil. Cave carrot. Too foraging. Level two mining. Ooh, I can make staircases now. That's nice. So we're gonna head off into Clint's upgrade our pickaxe, and then we're gonna go. I see the path there, so we'll go east there, and we'll we'll see what's up with the new area. Hello, Clint. Upgrade my tool, please. Copper pickaxe. So do I just fish off this bridge then? Is it? Is this the? Is this the area that you want me to fish? What's over here? Oh, I, I can't go that way. Okay. Ooh. Got that. We're gonna be fishing this up for the rest of the stream anyway. Hey, we got it. Oh, lovely. What was that? Ooh, a butterfish. Ooh, nice. Hey, we got it. What a battle, though. We really had to fight that one. Poor butterfish fighting for its life, you know? That's it, stay down there like a good butterfish. Yes, we got another butterfish. Ooh, how much money is that? 1,684 gold, yes. More butterfish. Yay, woohoo, butterfish, go. What? A si ah, come on, a silver star butterfish. That was one of the best butterfish catches I ever did, and it gives me a silver star butterfish. <laughs> the stream ends, you just see me for the whole night, <laughs> practicing the butterfish. You'll see me now, if I do it tomorrow's stream, I'll just be pulling them up every time I get them, you know? With big red eyes, very little sleep. A transformed gamer gar. So here's the tactic, right? I am now going to save up my, my money until the strawberry event hits on the 13th. So I'm looking to get maybe... How much is a strawberry seed? Is a strawberry seed 200 gold for one or 100 gold for one? I think they're 200 gold for one. Because I think you need 20,000 gold to get 100 strawberries. I think. Is it? Oh, no, they're 100 gold. Alright, so I just need 10,000 gold to get a hundred of them or or I could go a bit mad and I could try to save up to 20,000 gold and I could purchase 200 strawberries out that would be a little bit hectic at the start but but I would grow uh, I would get the farming skill up early which means I could make sprinklers early where's his sense of adventure hey Georgia Road is a great adventure thrill of spending money and purchasing bundles. It's amazing. <laughs> exactly, it's about the journey and not the destination and what a journey you can have when you buy the bundles from the Georgia Mart. <laughs> oh. Ooh, look at that. An ancient sword. Gunter's gonna have a field day at this rate. Okay. 
A little bit more fish in there. I don't. Let's send those. Let's see how much money I made. Level 6 fishing. Ooh, look, the trap bobber. Okay. So thanks again for coming, everyone. See ya. <laughs>